So before this video starts, I'd like to say thank you all for the love and support. I'm just doing some sort of goofy archiving and never expected the band I posted to gain so much attention. And you know, English is my first language, so forgive me if I, if I make any <laughs> sorry silly mistakes. Without further ado, let's get started. So earlier this year, I was making a fanzine and trying to find stuff about Houston emo slash scrimmel. At some point, I found this SoundCloud playlist called Houston Emo 2000 to 2004, which featured three songs from the band named Flowery Avenues. I say the songs were real good, kind of reminds me of Golden Era Emo, so I just went on doing some more research. A bit later, I found their old website, floweryavenues.net, and got to see the names of the members, which were Joe, Matt, Joe, and Andy. I wanted to reach out to Matt on social media, but unexpectedly ran into another Matt who's never been in the band but knows them well. Matt then introduced me to the vocalist Joe, they were both incredible people and generously shared with me whatever they knew. Flowery Avenues formed in 2000 when the members were all in high school. The guys were in the same high school as Money Rose slash The Gloria Record though several years later, so they kind of grew up worshipping them, which you can probably tell by listening. According to Joe, it felt like by the early 2000s, the Midwest emo scene was kind of dying out and it seemed like emo has become more associated with bands like My Chemical Romance, so maybe there wasn't really a place for bands doing the Midwest emo thing anymore. As for the Houston scene, it was definitely more pop punk slash ska slash wizardry power pop, so I guess they were one of the few bands sticking to the genre then. The band released their 4 song demo in 2001, followed by their 3 song demo in 2002. Both of the demos sound pretty rough and unmastered, kind of basement-ish, yet really amazing from the emo perspective. These two releases weren't recorded anywhere, so sorry I can tell you anything more about them. But anyways, I found a bit info about their third yet final release, the Unhappy EP on their archived site, and here it is. News, January 21st, 2003. As you probably noticed, we haven't exactly been updating the site. There hasn't been much news, so instead of making a fake news, we chose not to say anything at all. We just finished recording our last few songs with a pal, Royal Autumn. We'll be releasing the songs on EP tentatively titled The Unhappy EP. The tentative track listing goes as follows. 01, a summer soundtrack. 02, Far from trees, 03, live comfortably. It will be available for purchase on March 1st, 2003. As far as members go, Andrew moved away to God knows where and Matthew moved to Austin. Instead of replacing these two crucial members, we have chosen to call it a day and do something else. We're working on setting up a huge final show extravaganza. We shall keep you posted on that. News, February 26th, 2003. Okay, so I lied. The release date for the Unhappy EP is now March 18th, 2003. I will let you know where you can find it in a little while. We apologize for the delay. The final show is also still in the works. More info to come. News, May 13th, 2003. The final Flowery Avenue show ever will be Friday, July 25th at good old Fitzgerald's downstairs. Here's the lineup. 11 o'clock, F.A. Us. 10 o'clock, Panic in Detroit, Our Boys in Amsterdam. 9 o'clock, Little Compass, Our Boys in Inglewood. This show will most likely be a live altering event, so be sure to mark it on your calendar. We do hope to see everyone and their mother slash legal guardian there. If you have a special request for a song you'd like to hear one last time, feel free to email it to flowery underscore avenues at hotmail.com. News, June 22nd, 2003. Here are three new songs to enjoy. News, September 19th, 2003. It's been fun. Thanks to everyone who supported us. If you happen to have come to the last show, we appreciate it. We had a blast. See you around. Love always, Flowery Avenues. During their existence, Flowery Avenues got to play shows with a lot of bands they really loved, including Daniel Johnston, Carfax, Seldom, The Record Time, The Tide Vines, etc. 
and I could say they're not to be overlooked in the emo history. 20 years after breaking up, some members are still working on making good music. Joe's brother Matthew has some country slash folk recordings, and Joe himself has been on songs that are more in the synth wave world. Just about two months ago, I got a message from Joe saying that one of the Flowery Avenue's members just got a VHS of the last FA show digitized and uploaded. Check it out if you're interested. Besides, I've seen people leaving comments asking detailed information about the band and stuff. Actually, you can find it all on mp3.com. And I'm putting all the useful links in the description. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and stay emo.